What keeps the sun hot? We know from hydrostatic equilibrium considerations that the sun must have very high temperatures and pressures at its deepest layers. We also know from spectroscopy that it is mainly made of hydrogen and some helium. So the logical conclusion is that the source of power of the sun is nuclear fusion of hydrogen into helium. Fusion means to put together. Nuclear fusion is the combination of atomic nuclei into heavier ones. For light elements, the product is a heavier atomic nucleus, the release of energy in the form of gamma rays, as well as a mysterious particle known as a neutrino. According to Einstein's equation, E equals mc squared, the energy released comes from the conversion of 4 million tons of mass every second. However, because the sun is so massive, its change in mass is imperceptible as a result. While very difficult to detect, neutrinos are the most direct evidence of nuclear fusion powering the sun. In deep underground neutrino detectors, we have confirmed that most neutrinos arriving at the Earth come from the direction of the sun. When the sun will start running out of hydrogen at its core, the core will start to contract and heat up and will start fusing helium into heavier elements such as carbon. This will have further implications as to the ultimate fate of our sun, which we will discuss in a different video.